I'm here with Max Gulker at Porkfest from AEIR, the American. Oh, did I mix the I and the E? I always do that. <laughs> it's a lot of vowels in a row. It's a There's tough so thing many to vowels. Say. It's worth learning. And I bought but, none of them yeah. with Bitcoin. Yeah. But uh, Max, what exactly brings you here to Porkfest? Well, I um, was well, had the great opportunity on the first day on Tuesday to talk to people about kind of my own path to um, liberty and really viewing liberty as the primary means that we want to organize our society by. I was saying at the time, I think a lot of the audience, that made sense to them when they were kids, they read certain books, it all clicked. Um, that's not my story. I had a very different kind of mainstream, they would say, economics education relative to a lot of folks around here. Um, I came from a very left-wing family. I was always kind of a democratic voter. And then over the last 10 years, I just discovered um, several strands of economics that kind of just moved me in this direction and made me see that, you know, the types of uh, ways we want to help each other um, are better accomplished in um, a society with, with, you know, unimpeded individual liberty. Yeah, I always find it interesting meeting people that came from left-wing backgrounds yeah. because they're often imbued with that sort of, um, the quality of just wanting to help people or wanting to see people do better, but then they meet that point in the road where they realize everything that they've been told about how to do that is completely wrong and right. actually it does the opposite. Do you remember like a moment in time where you kind of had a light bulb go off that you realized, wait a minute, my heart is in the right place, but the things I'm advocating right. are actually hurting people and well, there's a totally well, different way to look at this. Yeah, maybe a couple of them. I, I remember, so about the end of the road for me was 2008, I voted for Barack Obama look around and make sure that and um and and i thought he was gonna be great i thought he was gonna change things and good governance and this and that and a, a year later i realized no this is just the mirror image of the last president we had in the opposition party and everybody's kind of going to their sides and blaming their people again and i thought to myself if this happens over and over again there must be a reason and maybe the reason is it's just not possible to be a good president maybe this maybe we can't just elect somebody who's going to be smart and have good ideas and why is that and around the same time I think I first delved into Hayek you know I had a PhD from economic in economics and I had really never studied Hayek at all which is um, to the detriment of many grad programs around the country but I um, discovered his paper about information in society and then it all clicked to me of why you can't with the best of intentions control things from the top down why that kind of cause and effect doesn't work um, and that was that was those were that was kind of a major turning point for me. What about uh, what are your thoughts on what the Free State Project is doing specifically? Just their their general idea yep. of moving people of a certain political mindset to the, a geographic area and trying to affect, affect things on this local level yep. and maybe setting an example for people across the country or the world, etc., to do the same thing. Well, well, setting an example is hugely important because most people are not going to believe our vision of. Um, the vastly less government that we want until we show them. They that, picture Mad Max. Until we show them, yeah. Up. Until we show them that there are better ways of doing it, that we have better ways of doing it. And then that's gradual and that's over time, but that's when the government withers away. So something like this, um, which is sort of leading by example, showing people, I think, how important a community is. I think this gentleman off camera actually may have said uh, that the community <laughs> Um, sort of gave him a lot of work um, in the last year. Yes. Pay no exactly. attention to the man that's, behind the curtain. That's, that's exactly the type of thing it's, it's that I awesome. envision everywhere if we could, you know, really move towards greater individual liberty in our society. It's not that we're not taking care of people who are struggling, it's that we can take care of people who are struggling better. Right. 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 It's that once you get out of the way, we can actually do the help and right. not just exactly. this other nonsense. Uh, what is your favorite part of being at Porkfest, Max? So I, have I know there's a lot to been, choose from. Um, I have been just amazed by the crowd and the people here and just the, the you know, we, we go to a lot of conferences where libertarian economists present papers and get drunk at night, and that's, that's lovely. And, here and we, we get drunk during the day. Well, yeah, so. exactly, 24-7. <laughs> but um, just, just connecting with people from, I guess, all walks of life who really 
are, you know, believe in all of this and, um, you know, are just here because they want to be, not because it's their job necessarily. Uh, it's, it's really cool and it's a different slice of people than I guess you see kind of otherwise sometimes. Max, I want to make sure we get our plugs in. So why don't you tell everybody what you're doing at the American Institute for Economic Research. I think I got the letters in the right yes. order this time. So uh, what uh, you along with my colleagues, Phil Magnus and Jeffrey Tucker, uh, there we go. Um, we are putting out, we think, some of the, basically the best commentary, economic commentary in, in the wider manner. You probably um, believe orbit. that it's the best. Right, right, exactly. We're, 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 we're of course, biased. But um, we have great content that's aimed at people who are not professional economists, who are just people who are into this kind of stuff that goes up on our site every day. Um, I tend to work maybe about half my time on issues of technology, kind of scratching the surface of all of this like antitrust with Google and Facebook right now. And about half the time I really work on policy and that's exactly what we were just talking about, about how can we do things better in a decentralized way that some people on the left might assume only their friendly nation state can do. Uh, since you brought it up, I'm kind of curious, just real quick, what's your, your take on how libertarians should approach the idea of big tech censorship? We see a lot of demonetization, not just of libertarians, but of people of all sorts of radical views. Yeah. Um, from the very pure free market standpoint, we can say yeah. that's their right. Uh, others would say at some point, some of these companies become so big and so imbued with government that maybe we should view them in, in a sort of a different way. So what's your view on how well, we should approach that it, from the libertarian it, it, it's angle? It's difficult because with these tech companies, especially their size and the the quality of the product they're providing are sometimes positively correlated because of things like network effects where you know everybody's in a network things get better or um, you know Google's ability to take its previous searches and give you kind of better searches um, we have to I, I I've written a little bit about you know saying look whatever you think of regulators the regulators aren't going away tomorrow so what they should be doing here is saying you companies disclose very clearly how you're going to use people's data in a straightforward way. And at that point, consumers really have to become more intelligent um, customers and really, really take that kind of use of data as a margin on which they think. And then, you know, we can get to probably better places with it. Um, it's something that you know, nobody likes their control over information. I worry that if we unleash antitrust on it, we unleash antitrust on a lot of other things, sort of unavoidably. So we have to think about other ways, you know, as as a group to to move away from those platforms if they're doing things we don't like. Yeah, I mean, on a recent podcast, I was interviewing Carrie Wedler, who was the platform from Twitter, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, her, but it, her point was kind of similar to yours. Like, if we invite in the regulators, they're not going to be protecting the libertarians. That, right, that's right. not whose speech they're going to well, be protecting. Yeah, I, think, so. I think when Mark Zuckerberg went to Congress, they said something like, well, have the regulations you think they should be on mo on our desk on Monday. And it was okay. Like, okay, and, yeah, sounds great. Yeah, yeah, everybody's, yeah, we're like, oh, my God, and everybody else doesn't notice it. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Max, it's been a blast talking to you. Right. Have a Thank Continue to have a great time at Porkfest. Right. We'll see you in the VIP tent. All right. Take care.